Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer January 2024 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share with you the highlights of this month's survey. The Ag Economy Barometer Index fell 8 points compared to a month earlier, and that left that index 24 points below where it was this time last year. The Current Condition Index and the Future Expectation Index both declined this month compared to a month earlier, and both of those indices are now down 23 points below where they were in January of 2023. The Farm Financial Performance Index was down 12 points this month to a reading of 85, and that leaves that index 8 points below where it was this time last year. When we ask producers about their biggest concerns for the upcoming year, there's been a bit of a shift to take place as we've progressed through 2023 into early 2024. This month, 28% of the producers in the survey said their number one concern is the risk of lower crop and or livestock prices, which match the percentage for the first time of those choosing higher input costs as their top concern. The Farm Capital Investment Index fell eight points below a month ago, and that left that index seven points below a year ago. When we followed up and asked the producers who say now is a bad time to make large investments in their farming operation why they feel that way, more producers are starting to point to an uncertain outlook on farm profitability as a key reason for thinking it's a bad time to make large investments. The short-term farmland value expectation index fell six points compared to a month earlier, as fewer producers expressed optimism about farmland values increasing over the next 12 months, and more of them said that they actually expect to see values decline in the upcoming 12 months. Each January, we ask producers in our survey whether or not they expect to have a larger farm operating loan than they did a year earlier. This year, 15% of the producers in the survey said they expect to have a larger loan. And when we asked why that was the case, more farms this year than in the last couple of years say that they're carrying over some unpaid operating debt as a reason for having a larger farm operating loan in 2024. That wraps up the highlights of this month's survey. You can get the full report on our website, which is purdue.edu slash agbarometer. And you can also get some more details about the survey and the results on our podcast, Purdue Commercial Agcast which is available at major podcast providers and at our website, purdue.edu slash commercial ag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mentert. Thanks for joining us.